All right, Techies, this is episode four of the Java Discord Bot tutorial series. And in this video, we're going to be going over a simple command manager. Now, for this, obviously, this command manager, you don't have to do it. How way we're doing it works perfectly fine. But I like to have a bit more organization in my Java Discord Bot. So, obviously, you can do it how we were doing it before or how we were going doing it, uh, how a different way of how we're doing it. But I'm going to be showing you how I, how I would do it. And so you can make a judgment on that and decide how you want to do it. So let's get right into it. I'm going to make a new class called the command manager. Command manager. And in this class, it's going to extend the listener adapter. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have also another class. This one's going to be an interface called I command. And so there's going to be a couple of methods in here. We're going to have a string get name. Uh, string get description description uh, a list of option data called would be saying what list called get options and a void execute which is going to take in the slash command interaction event now. This obviously this means we can make an instance of this for each command and it just has all the data in it for you know names descriptions and what's going to run and execute now obviously you can add more if you want more for a command but this is what i'm going to be doing for our for our command manager just a basic thing so in the command manager we can make a private list of i command so we can just call this commands and so this is going to store our so it's just going to store all of our commands that the command manager is holding. Now, what we what first thing we need to do is obviously we need to register these. So uh, we're going to need to register all our commands. So on ready, we're going to do for, um, for so in this I'm going to do this as guild commands, and then so obviously you can make them global commands if you if you would like, but I'm going to register them as as guild commands. So we can do for uh, event dot get jda dot oh and I'm so no, sorry no for guild in, uh, in event dot get jda dot get guilds um, we can do we can also do for all the i for all the i commands in commands we can do guild dot upset command we can just command dot get name command dot get description it's just, it's just those doing that and obviously we need to queue that so now what we've done is we have our command object and we have the list of it and we just register it when the when the bot is ready. So now we need to actually make them execute. So we can do have our on slash command interactions. And so what we're going to do here is we can do loop again. I'm going to loop through all the commands in our commands and then if the command dot get name oh, no, not options, get name dot equals event dot get name so basically if the, if we find basically we found out whichever command has been activated we can do command command that said command dot execute and we can just pass in the event so this so basically what this is doing is it's just going to execute the correct command and what i'm going to do is i'm going to return after this because you don't have any other logic we want to do so we might as well finish the loop otherwise there's no point looping through the rest of the commands so we've done that and i've just realized i haven't actually added the options here so here after upset command we can do dot add options we can just do command dot get options and if we've what this so we should just go to do command get options because they obviously this takes in a, a bunch of as many, an options, you know, collections and stuff. So we can just pass in a list of options. And so now, essentially what we should be able to do is, so that it just takes the commands in this list, it registers them when the bot turns on, and then whenever the a slash command is act, executed, we can it actually will run the slash command, the correct one. And obviously one final thing we need in here is we need an add method so we can add an, a command into uh, the commands list. So we can do commands.add 
command. It's just very simple, just you know, to add it. And then now what we can do is we can actually turn our sum command here, or whatever commands you've made, you might have made multiple, into a just a, no, a normal command. So rather than extending listener adapter, we're going to make it extend i command. Assuming we make it implement i command, sorry. And then we're going to implement the methods. So we've got get name. Uh, we can call this. I think it was sum. Get description. We can call. We can just do the take sum of two numbers. Uh, get options. So I'm going to copy this from our listener. So the options we can have. I'm going to do it like I'm going to have a list of option data data with new array list and then data dot add these uh, oh hang on we want to do them separately so data dot add first one and then data dot add the second one so this should add both of the options into the list and then we can just return data and then in execute we can just do exactly what we've done up here with a couple changes uh, so we can do rather than we don't need to check for the name anymore uh, and then we're still getting all of it so that's still working like that and then this should still work exactly how oh we just don't have to check the name anymore and that should we just imp optimize all the imports and so hopefully this should work so we should be able to go to our main and actually we do need to i'm going to comment this out so you can still have a look at this on the github if you would like to but uh, for the moment i'm just going to have it commented and then in main we can also get rid of adding this as an event listener and we can just have a command manager command manager manager new command manager manager to add a new sum and then we can just do jda to add event listener manager so the reason we can just do it like this is because obviously the command manager although it isn't you know it's it's a sort of more complex class it does it still extend listener adapter so it's still a child of listener adapter so we can so it's gonna what was I? Over here. So we can add it as an event listener and all those events will still be taken in. So, and then obviously the new sub, so we're adding it, so we're adding a new i command to the command manager and so it's processing it in this list. So obviously we can have multiple commands on here. I've only got the one at the moment because that's the only command we have right now. But hopefully this should work. So we should be able to load this back up and we'll load the bot up and we should be able to test it in our discord server so we are over in our bot in our bot testing server and if we do slash sum it works exactly like it did before we do slash sum it takes in the number and then we can also take in the second number four and it, it adds them together and replies with it so we have six so that shows that this is all working we have our command manager working perfectly and that is all we're going to be doing today. Uh, so like I said, you don't have to have it set up like this. You can make tweaks to it. You can do it completely differently or you could leave it how it was. But that's what we're going to be doing today. And hopefully I'll catch you next time.